Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Pepe. I am one of the guys behind Reload Sessions. So this is the second installment of a weekly series of videos where we offer our advice and our opinion on how to get your music noticed a bit better. Make sure to check out the previous episode by clicking on the video right over here. This is what we talk about what you could be asking yourselves when you first start out. Keep in mind guys, everything that is said in this video is our opinion. This is just gathered from our experience working with different artists over the past couple of years. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about first impressions. If you're an up and coming musician or performer, first impressions are huge. If you're trying to get onto a certain type of channel or a certain type of event, playing a live set or with management or producers, you really want to put your best foot forward. Now there are obviously different ways to do this. Some people do it through social media, some people do it through networking at live events. That is completely up to you and how you do it. But one thing that we will talk about a little bit today is email contact. This is mainly because it's something which is so often overlooked. Emails are hugely important because often these are the first way that either you get in touch as an emerging artist with different types of people or they get in touch with you. As someone who's starting out, it's really important on your end to make sure communication is to a good standard. Based on our experience, it can sometimes be a bit off-putting to read emails which aren't constructed properly. And it's such a small trivial thing that if done correctly, can really make a huge difference. Don't get me wrong guys, I'm not suggesting to be overly professional or super formal, but thinking about the way you construct your emails really does make a big difference. Once you break it down, it really is quite simple. Um, we're talking about spelling, uh, structuring, and you know, even punctuation. When somebody can see that those are all lacking in an email, it's also another sign that somebody isn't quite serious about what they're doing. So putting an extra little bit of effort really does go a long way. Put it this way, you need to ask yourself, how do you want to be seen? How do you want people to look at you on their first impression. Most of the time, first contact is done through email. Like I said before, some people approach via Twitter and Facebook, but the main one is email. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of background you have or what type of genre your performance is, but there's no reason to not think about the ways you put your introduction together. Think about it this way. If you're writing to somebody who doesn't have a lot of time or receives literally hundreds of emails a day, maybe a venue or maybe a specific event, those guys are really going to struggle taking your music further if that's not an email that they're interested in. If writing isn't your forte, there are lots of cool websites which offer templates or different ideas about how to write introduction emails. Those will be in the description box below. So remember, think about how exactly you're putting yourself forward. How are people going to look at you through email or through social media? I would love to know what you guys think. Maybe you've been on the end of some really weird first impressions or maybe you've been the one giving off a weird first impression. Um, regardless, let me know by writing in the comment box below. As usual, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our daily lives on Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, maybe hit like and subscribe too. Thanks again and I'll see you around.